Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to be continuing our history about tutorials. So today we're going to learn how to make money exchange using CSS, HTML, and JS. So we're going to put a tag. We're going to say money exchange using money exchange using HTML, CSS, and JS. So right now we have this one HTML file, which has CSS and JS linked to it. So we're going to make a H1. We're going to make a H1 with the class of title. To say simple money converter, we have that text that says simple money converter. So we're going to make a div. I want to do div dot let's change. So inside we're going to write amount and then put two BRs to say from so then a BR Nigeria Naira then a BR And then two BRs. Say two. Two. Then a BR. Then equation. Get. Then two BRs and two and another BR US dollar and then two BRs then a button with an ID of so what it was only a BTN. I was going to say calculate. And I have all of these. I'm going to add inputs to them. So this is in my rough voice. I'm going to pick an input type number. It's going to have an ID of to have an ID of Naira. Now, for text box, I'm going to copy this to here and here. So this one, its ID will be ring it, and for this one, its ID will be dollar. So we have one of them. I'm also just going to put in these colors. So, and then we're going to go into our JS. We're going to make some variables. So, we're going to do what btl to equal to document dot get element by id btl. So then we're going to do what Naira is equal to document dot get element by id Naira. So then what dollar equal to document dot get element by id dollar. So, uh, 
so let's so see. So what to do what and get equal to document dot get element by ID and get now I have all these so what to do etm dot add event to listener so what to do click so on the button that's click function function the function so this function I'm going to say I wrap value equals to era dot value but instead of doing that we just we just let's put this uh, we can just copy these and paste them here and put dot value after you get how much my ID so that we mean the value Now what we're going to do so we don't need to stop value for the ringgit and dollar because so Naira is the only one that we're going to in be inputting. So we're going to say ringgit dot value is equal to Naira divided by so if we go and run the file and we enter like a hundred naira, it's going to say one and get so we'll do the same thing for the U to US dot so we're going to copy this as I'm going to be now divided by 413 so we're going to say dollar dot value now we're divided by 413 so if I roll it up into a hundred game, it's going to say this number. So and with that here to JS, we're going to do CSS. And the first thing to style is the title. We're going to give it a background. Of blue and a color of white. I'm going to put in asterisk, which means everything in your document. I'm going to do font family. Put in the font family. And we're going to say font size 25px. So, make it a title, font, size, b, 30px, uh, this hashtag was supposed to be dot, so dot title, hashtag title, I'm going to make it font size to be 40px, and it's border, we'll just say 10px solid blue I'm going to do width of 30% I feel it's how it's going to go like that so let me just do it on size to 30px so have to style the dot x change so we have to style the dot x change we can do background of ice yellow and we 
to copy this border from the title. And how's that border? So we're going to go to our asterisk. We can also do margin zero. So that's they'll be joined together. So we're also going to do with thirty percent. Now shows that. Okay, what if says US dollar? I'm just gonna put a BR before the input. So we've done that. So in our not exchange, we're also gonna do a text align center. And text will be aligned to the center. And we're gonna just dial our calculate button. I'm just going to do this from size to 20 px and make the titles font size to be always 25 px. We're going to do hashtag BTF, so we the IDF button. New background of white, blue. Done. Padding 20 px. And border radius in the PX. Now I have a button. I didn't tell the others are on the same one. I can remove this PR now. Also, I have the border radius for the PX. To do border none, it has no border. So, I'm going to do hashtag BTN, then hover. I'm going to get a background of blue and a color. Of white. And if we if we hover our mouse over the button, we like that. We can also go back to our exchange, exchange, and do font weight bold. Now their fonts are bold. So just increase its width like 35%. Let's increase the title's width to 35%. So you can still do those calculations. Well, 150 is considered to be 500.6. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So, bye.